Okay, um, here's a little video of my home racing sim rig that I made several, quite a few years ago. And uh, I've converted it into, or built an extra dash panel for it or whatever that allows me to uh, play uh, American Truck Simulator a little better. So, so first of all, that's a PC I built uh, quite a while ago. It's uh, yeah, reasonably good. I built two, one for me, one for my daughters. I've been building my own PCs for a long time. I've got Logitech G25 wheel and pedals. I've inverted the pedals and put them down there with a dead pedal. And you can see I have my little dimmer switch down there. Up here we've got a signal switch right there. And the dash panel that has everything I need to run the game keyboard I can just lift it out of that little cradle if I need it and I just need it for typing big bass speaker there which really gives a nice rumble and I built the speakers into the dash so all comes from a nice normal place it's sound sound wise it's pretty good got some LED lights built in so in this panel this is built from used computer case I had kicking around for years aluminum case and you can see in the back, what I've got is on this side, right on the other side of that, right there you can see a white thing, a bunch of wires going in. That's a Arduino Micro. It's about 15 bucks. And all of these bunch of double acting switches on the top row and buttons on the bottom. Speakers tied in there. On the other side, that controller is a Leonardo Micro. And, uh, it's pretty cool because it allows me to have rotary encoders and I'll show you those in a minute. In this case along the top here, this long tubular thing I built there, that's got LED lights in it. The LED light controller is right there. Plugs into the PC. And uh, all works really well. So I'll just hop down on the seat here and show you what these thing controls do. So, on this side, Got uh, Windows, Inside View, the root selection of the root map, uh, the uh, HUD display, Escape, which is handy for you know getting out to do things, look at jobs, etc. Job gives me the uh, the HUD display for the job details, estimated time of arrival, all that kind of stuff. Next waypoint, yada yada. And that's on the up action of those switches. If you push them down, you get uh, starting from the right and working back left. You have the map display, so you can cycle through the HUD map. F10 takes a screenshot. Uh, the waypoint, you can uh, cycle through. And I don't have that on waypoint right now. I have that uh, cycling the map, so I can check for you know vehicle damage percent, cycle through the maps, etc. Uh, the next one over is the outside view or chase view. So those two, inside and outside, up down, <clears throat> is really handy when you're uh, maneuvering in tight places or you can't get out at an intersection because you have poor visibility. So you just jumped outside and use the mouse and you can uh, get an idea where you're at. The bottom row is pretty explanatory. Uh, cycle through lights, four-way flashers, the air horn, beacon, and wipers. And a speaker, of course, signal switch down there. Over here, ignition key. And then from left to right, diff lock, uh, the drop axle for the truck, drop, drop axle for the trailer, trailer decouple or couple, trailer brake, truck brake, uh, those are air brake. Uh, enter is obviously the enter button, you know, that's uh, the enter command from your keyboard. <clears throat> dash display, if you push that rotary, rotary encoder button, you get the cycle the dash display on the uh, the uh, SIM truck. Uh, the next one over is dash map, and that's actually uh, cycles through the map on the dash display, so the equivalent to your GPS in a truck. Uh, world, you push that encoder button and it uh, toggles back and forth in the world map, so when you're driving you can go to world map and have a look where you are, pick your next waypoint, whatever, look for a rest stop, push that button and you're right back in the game. You don't have to go 
mess around with the mouse or anything here, just in and out. Radio, push that and you get the uh, radio or audio player. And the ro if you rotate those controls, so starting from right, working back left, obviously volume for the radio or audio player, uh, skip. Next one over is you can skip tunes, so forward or back through your playlist of uh, tunes. And if you turn that, I'll show you all of this in action here. If you turn that rotary encoder in any direction, it starts the, uh, the radio player while you're driving. So you don't have to go into the radio menu and click buttons and all that. You just turn that and boom, the radio's on and you're listening to tunes. Uh, cruise is uh, cruise control adjust up and down five five mile an hour increments so you put your cruise on whenever you want and uh, then you can uh, if you fine tune it to the uh, five mile an hour increments you want it's kind of handy so when the speed changes um, 70 to 65 whatever just rotate it left one click and you're down to 65 is pretty good retarder yeah, next over is uh, increase or decrease the retarder and uh, the actual retarder is on the uh, on the uh, shifter uh, uh, range and split on the uh, Thrustmaster TH8A shifter it's very nice and this little wheel which is going to get changed out pretty soon I'm going to put something else there so anyway, let's have a look at uh, what these controls do in the game. So I'll just switch to uh, an inside view on the truck here. And we'll go... Well, first of all, that's chase you. So just click the inside with the... Uh, that was right here. So outside, inside. First off, you have windows. So you, Oh, I guess my electric's not on. Better turn the truck on. That's with the key here. Let's get this job done. Okay, buddy. We'll get her done. And down goes the window, up goes the window, both sides. So that works pretty good. Um, so we're going to cycle through some maps here. So you can turn the root map off of the HUD. You can cycle it. So, and if we bring it back up, I prefer to have it there if I'm using it. Oh, right here we can do map pushing this one down we'll just change the you know, I kind of like that one when I'm out in the road I can see the next highway I need to intersect with and look for the highway signs and uh, try to not rely on the HUD if you do it that way it's great so you can cycle through those and if you go uh, up you'll get the job so it tells you where you gotta be when you gotta be there and when your next waypoint and everything is back down to get out of there uh, I have 10 screenshots, so yeah, that covers that side. They're all there. Beacon, all of these uh, buttons here are pretty self-explanatory. We've seen them all in action. Uh, trailer brake's really nice because uh, for some reason, you pull it on, the trailer brake's on, you push it, it's off. With the truck, you got to pull it, put it on, and you got to do it again to turn it off. So I like using the, I use the trailer brake instead of the truck brake as much as I can. So, uh, it all works really well. It's, uh, so, in the bigger scheme of things, uh, I don't need to uh, mess with the keyboard at all. Everything's right there. Now this uh, panel, I'm lucky I had this old computer case to use, uh, but um, it, uh, you know, it gives you an idea of what you can do. And those little Arduino boards and stuff are really inexpensive. The switches, some of them came with a kit. I uh, got a kit and these five buttons, these five buttons, the red ones, and the encoders came with the kit and the Leonardo. And uh, I think having those rotary encoders is epic. I think that was about, I can't remember, 60 bucks on eBay. And uh, that's the one with that uh, 32 function button box uh, dis uh, demonstration on um, YouTube where the guy makes, uh, makes a box, shows you how to do it. And uh, that's that kit. And uh, 
fairly inexpensive and I can't stress so much I like those rotary encoders I use them all the time when I'm driving uh, the other stuff the bigger switches and, and these ones here the air brake pull-ons they uh, they're off of Amazon and so are these uh, double acting switches so these are momentary double uh, double throw double pull switches um, that's about it so uh, really enjoy it uh, my dash panel lights this little thing was six bucks on Amazon and uh, you can change the color or intensity of the display uh, you know I, I like that soft blue it seems to be the best uh, at night uh, I know they say red's really good for night vision but you can change the degree of the, of the intensity you can also you know, you can, uh, that's the brightness button. And you can go total Las Vegas here if you're crazy. That would be pretty distracting driving, maybe for Sanco de Mayo or something, but uh, <laughs> I don't see that happening in the normal course of events. But anyway, that's a little tour of my panel. Uh, it works really well. And uh, like I say, it uh, absolves the need to use a keyboard. So I just don't need it um, unless I need to type something. Oh yeah, I have uh, cruise control here, and this I programmed for resume, and this is uh, drive-by, so I got my hand on the wheel, I want to do a drive-by video, I pull that, and I got my left hand on the inside button, so I pull for the drive-by, click inside, and I'm back on the road, you know, back in the cab, which is handy, and then this left paddle, I have it set for, as you can see here, lean out. And then once again, when I do that, I'll have my right hand on the mouse and I click the center button. Oh, it's supposed to bring me back, but it's not right now. Why is that? Weird. Okay, let's go back here. Come back inside. And, and then I don't have uh, eye tracking software or whatever, so I just use the mouse and look around like that. I like this point of view here where I'm, I'm using the left mirror in the truck, but I use that remote right one up there and then quite often I'll be driving along with the route map off just using one of the dash you can see this button here da uh, dash map this one so it changes the display on off I like to have it at the second level of zoom and uh, this one here dash display you'll see it will change the in the middle just below the steering wheel there you can see the dash display cycle through. And I'd like to leave it at how many miles I can go and what fuel I have. Anyway, a little tour of my uh, my dash and uh, oh, volume controls up here. I just got that stuck on with some tape. So that's pretty handy to have right there. Bass control. You can get a lot of bass out of this big boomer down here. And if I turn this off I'm uh, automatically connected to my headphones, so <laughs> works pretty good. So when uh, I'm down here in my little basement storage room cubby hole here, uh, you know, when my wife's working in her office next door, I can uh, wear the headphones and not interrupt anybody. So there you go. That's my little uh, my uh, little video of my. Uh, ATS setup. Thanks for watching.